had to sit down here and rest a minute from this wood splitting. I've been splitting mostly this whole whole truckload of wood we've got here I've been splitting by hand uh, just because I enjoy it it's a whole lot of work but I enjoy being able to do it and being able to do it the old way uh, it's a good exercise um, keeps you fit keeps you wind up uh, as you get older, it's good to do things like that, in my opinion. <laughs> Some people may not agree with that, but that's all right. Uh, I like to, I like to work at stuff. It's better now that I'm don't have a public job that I can work at it as I want to. But uh, nonetheless, I like to work. And I like to be able to work, and like to, you know, I'm going to keep doing this sort of thing as long as I can. Uh, We've got some comments before on the channel about uh, need a log splitter, and I've got a log splitter. Now I've had one for several years, and I use it some, but I always bust some of the wood, you know, the way I've always done it, way back yonder with a axe and a splitting maul or a, or a wedge or whatever it takes. Some of this, some of this wood here is pretty knotty and pretty twisted. Uh, so it takes a little bit more effort, but it's real good exercise. It's good. It's good for you all over. Now, it's as you get older, you get aches and pains, and your joints hurt and all that. And I've got that too. But I'm just not going to sit down. You know, I'm going to keep working and keep going at it as long as I can. Just at my own pace, I go at it slower and. I think that's a good thing to be able to just be able to keep it up, but do it at your own pace. I ain't, I ain't fighting fire anymore, you know, like I once was. Don't go at it that hard. Uh, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy being able to know that I can do it, and I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I can. I did get a did get a new little splitter the other day. It's a Fiskars or Fiskers, however you say that, I don't know. X27, splitting, I don't know if you call that an ax or a maul, I don't know what you call it, but it works good. Uh, it's 36 inch handle, which I kind of like the long handle on something that I'm swinging that hard. It's, it protects your feet and your legs a little bit more. Uh, I'm not much on a fiberglass handle on any kind of tool, but I'm I'm learning to like this one. Uh, it's hollow. I don't know if you can see. It's hollow on the inside, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. I guess it does, but most of the fiberglass handle, solid handle tools seem to have a lot of hand shock, and they just don't feel good. I like wood. I like the old traditional stuff, and most all my stuff is wood handles. All my axes I carry in the woods and stuff are but I like this because it's it's got a pretty thick splitting bed on it and uh, it's heavy I don't know how heavy it is actually but it's got a pretty good weight to it and it's busting through this stuff pretty good and a lot of it's twisted and uh, knotted up and it's seasoned but it's doing a pretty good job uh, my log splitter this carburetor has been out on it all this year and I just now got a replacement for it and I'm gonna put it on probably today uh, and I'll use it some but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this too I always do both it's just good exercise uh, and then the work part of it I think I think the, the, the actual it's hard work but I think the work is uh, there's value in being able to work and to provide and uh, do this to keep us warm of course but any kind of work you do hard labor, hard work uh, to provide for your family there's a value to that that I think is lost on most people these days uh, but I've always thought that and I was always taught that and around the old timers that I was around when I was younger and then of course my father-in-law really taught me that um, there's just a value in hard work that I don't think that 
I think a lot of younger people don't see that now. Uh, of course, you don't want to just work yourself down and hurt yourself. I understand that. But going at it at a reasonable pace and um, keeping yourself active, keeping your joints and your muscles toned and as best you can as you get a little age on you, I think it's a good thing. Uh, also had a few comments about uh, why don't I wear gloves. Uh, I just don't like to wear gloves. Can't feel what you're doing. Feels kind of funny. Uh, and the more you work with your hands and you don't wear them, I mean there's a, th a thing or two that I will wear them for but not much. Uh, the more you work without them, the tougher your hands get and you don't need them. Uh, that's just my philosophy on it. Keep your hands tough, but you don't need to wear gloves. Uh, I've known men, my daddy and I was one of them, you could shake hands with him and his hands were leathery. I mean, his, his entire hand was calloused. And mine's not as much as his, but mine's kind of that way. Um, and I want to keep it that way because I want to keep being able to, to do this kind of work and it not blister and get splinters all in my hands and stuff. Uh, that's just a preference that I choose. I just don't wear gloves. The only time I'll wear them once in a while if we're clearing brush around the garden that's got a lot of real thorny, sticky briars or stuff in it, then I'll put hair on them just for that, and then I'll take them right back off. But as far as, you know, running a saw or wood busting or any of that, I, don't, I never have worn. I don't even wear them when it's cold. It's uh, because, to me, you can't feel what you're doing, and that to me creates more danger than not wearing the gloves, but that's just my opinion. Uh, so I don't wear them. I think I'm gonna split just a few more of these before I give it up, and I'm gonna pull that log splitter out, I believe, and put the carburetor on it and see if I can get it fired up, and at least I'll have it for, for backup when I do get so tired that I give out. From, doing it this way.